Just about two weeks after a recent murder at a downtown Albuquerque strip club, the city is now cracking down on the business, shutting it down for 30 days, citing a code violation. News 13's Annalisa Pardo has details. On Monday, Knockout Strip Club downtown will be closed down for 30 days. This action clearly states that I will not tolerate blatant disregard for safety in our city and will use every tool at our disposal to try and hold folks accountable. It comes after a deadly shooting there on December 19th when police say 16-year-old Luis Magishaimana got into a dispute with others at the club when he shot and killed the victim. Another employee was also found to have a gun on her that night. Involved a 16-year-old who obviously should not have been in there, who also had a gun which should not have been in there, as well as the associated firearm uh, with someone who is inside the club that also had a firearm. Days later, Albuquerque Code Enforcement conducted an inspection of knockouts and found they were violating the local ordinance for being a sexually oriented business by not having identification records for all the dancers. There are very good reasons for that law being on the books. They're there to protect society, to protect uh, everybody who comes into the establishment, and especially to protect the employees, the, the dancers who perform at places like this. It's that ordinance violation that allows the mayor to suspend their license to be a sexually oriented business for 30 days. Mayor Keller says it's the state that has the power to take permanent action of revoking their liquor license, noting the club has been a problem for years. This you know, particular combination of hard liquor and adult dancing and downtown, and in this case, firearms, uh, has been problematic for decades. Temporarily closing the business down is just one of the ways the city is keeping downtown safe, highlighting new lighting in the area and their efforts to work with the U.S. attorney to make downtown a gun-free zone since it's close to schools. APD says it will also increase its presence in the area. We want people to come downtown. We want people to come and enjoy downtown and have fun, but we are not going to allow criminal activity to take part. Annalisa Sapardo, KRQE, News 13. There is a 10-day window until the suspension goes into effect and knockouts has the option to appeal. If there is a second violation in the next 12 months, the mayor has the ability to revoke the club's license to be a sexually oriented business in the city.